Hey there, Chanel here from The Heart and Soul with your monthly energy forecast. We are up to July. We got halfway through the year. We're on the second half, July 2024. And again, as always, we are drawing two cards. We are drawing one from the Fairy Tarot deck and one from the Animal Tarot deck by Radley Valentine um, to see what the energy is for each and every month. So, Fairy card first. Ooh, we got another Major Arcana card. So again, Major Arcana cards are more of our major life changes. They're like to the, the pay attention cards. And we already had a repeater of a Major Arcana card. This one is the star. Look to the future with hope and optimism. The power of faith to move mountains. Happy changes that bring relief from challenging times. This definitely feels like that trickle over from last month. It is the awareness that things are working out. It is the awareness of ourselves and our intuition, our connection that is telling us we've been moving in the right direction. This month just feels like it is so filled with joy. The path isn't, I, I wanna be mindful of the words I use. The path isn't always easy. There are bumps in the road, there are obstacles, there are detours. So this is a good place to remind you that the universe always has three answers. Yes, not right now, or I'm giving you something better. That was a reminder. They're saying this piece of like everything that gets put in your way is there for a reason. Sometimes we just need to slow down. We need to reflect, reevaluate, jig the plan a little bit to move in the right direction, take that time to connect in again. Sometimes we're meant to go in a different direction that we didn't realize. I cannot begin to tell you the number of times that my sessions have pivoted and changed as I'm being given new gifts and shown new ways of working. I'm in one of those right now, and I love it because the work gets deeper. So I could fight against it and be like, no, this is the sessions that I do. Or I could be like, oh, yes, this is taking my clients to a new level. How do I, I share this with them in a way that empowers them the most? That serves them the best. So don't get caught up in that. Don't get caught up in the bumps in the way. The universe continues to shine that light bright. We are meant to see the stars in the dark sky to be reminded that the light is upon us. Every new day brings light again. The darkness helps us appreciate the light, but also the darkness allows us to see things in a different way. So don't associate darkness with negativity or bad. That's not necessarily the truth. There is power in both the light and the dark and the universe is reminding of us and allowing us to see that this month. They're showing me this shining star over and over again. And when they're showing it to me, it's not like this pinpoint thing. I giggle because, you know, Christmas just passed and I love to bring out my nativity scene. I am not religious, but I do love my little nativity scene. My grandma always had one and there's something special about bringing it out for me at Christmas time. And I always think of the story of um, baby Jesus and how that light shone on the manger. Well, the universe is like, no, 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 shine it bigger and brighter. The light from this star is illuminating the world for us. The world is at your fingertips. It is your choice whether to step in or to stand back. It is your choice to explore an adventure or to hibernate and hide. It is your choice. 
Okay, they're like card number two time. Five of winter. We haven't had a winter card yet, I don't think. Winter is about um, mind, intellect, those sorts of things. And we've had a lot of cards that are related to that over the last few months. Um, you know, we had that one where in May we had two cards about research, education, that sort of stuff. Five of winter, collie dog. Your current path isn't leading you towards happiness, the happiest possible outcome, so why not change it? Always maintain integrity and compassion, but be alert to the hidden agendas of others. See, they're talking about bumps in the road for a reason. I love it. Again, they're telling you that the things that are coming up this month are to redirect you in the right direction. It is to bring awareness to the parts that don't feel good. And we talked about, you know, the month before that healing is there. And I think two months, actually, we were talking about the healing that is there, that the continued healing path, the more we heal ourselves, the more awareness we bring, the more awareness that we have. So things that we may have let slide off our back or ignored previously, you might not be able to anymore. I always joke when I teach Reiki certifications that as you become attuned with Reiki, your BS like barometer kind of kicks in full steam ahead. I am not somebody that has any tolerance for BS, for lying, lack of integrity. I just don't have any tolerance for it. So this is this piece. We have been given these gifts of healing, of growth, of evolution to allow us to really be present in the world in a way that it shows us everything we need to see. So please do not get discouraged this month. And it might feel that way, but when you tap into it, it's going to show you something different, but you have to release the emotions and get a little detached to be able to connect to it in a way that it's going to show you what you need to see. Don't get lost in the emotions. Remember to connect to your intuition, which is this beautiful place between the head and the heart. It is this connection of both. All right, let's see what August has to bring.